So I'm just sitting in the shop testing some batteries and I needed a certain uh, resistance, like a power resistor. And I didn't have one, so I just wanted to show you how to make one if you want to do it. It's pretty dangerous, but you know, just take precautions. Uh, I'm using the coil out of an old space heater and I just cut it to the right length. And I'll show you how you get, uh, you cut it to the uh, resistance that you want in just a sec. So when you take the coil out of the space heater, it's probably going to be pretty long like this. And that's good. That gives you a lot of material to work with. So uh, I've basically taken a file and filed the ends to get the protective coating off of this uh, ceramic uh, heater coil. And I'm measuring the whole resistance of the whole length of it. And it's 7.5 ohms. So if I wanted to make a resistor that was like one ohm, and it's a pretty high power resistor, I mean, I've basically running uh, 100 watts through this one, and I'm just using it to test the capacity of these batteries by just giving it a resistive load. You can see my little power meter right there, half a kilowatt hour of capacity tested so far on these cells. And so I just wanted to do it faster because I had a 12 ohm uh, stove burner that I was using, but for 12 volts, you're only going to get one amp of current, so it just takes forever for these larger battery packs. So I wanted to make a bigger power resistor so I can run more current and do my tests faster. And I might even consider doing it even more current, like running a few of these in parallel uh, just to speed it up even more, you know? I mean, if you're in the business of testing batteries, then it helps to be able to do it you know, as fast as possible. So let's just pretend like I wanted a one ohm power resistor, like that one I've got over there is about one and a half ohms. So if I wanted one ohm, I'd probably take a segment like to here and give me just a sec, I'm gonna file the end off. I kind of snapped it in the process of filing it, but as you can see, uh, that length, now that I've ground off the little, uh, coating there. Uh, this resistance is 0 0.7 ohms. So, you know, just uh, if you're more gentle than I am, you can uh, just file anywhere along this length that you think you'll get about the right resistance and then check it with your ohm meter. And if it needs to be a little longer, then you just file just a little bit past where uh, you filed the first time. So, uh, but yeah, just word of warning, this is pretty dangerous. I put a thermometer on this coil and it's glowing red hot. So uh, I think it's at like 500 or no, sorry, it was 700 degrees Fahrenheit when I put a probe on it. So just be super careful. Don't burn your house down because if this touches anything paper, it will definitely cause a fire. So anyways, be safe out there guys. I hope this is useful and uh, see you later.